Nation. Hello, Nation. Welcome to this episode of A Dose of Dr. E. Today, we're going to talk about complications, vascular complications, and the difference between micro and macrovascular complications. Dr. Jim McCallum from Scripps wrote a super nice and more extensive article in this issue of our newsletter. So let's talk about vascular complications. Let's talk about macro first. These are the large arteries, leaving your heart, going to your heart, leaving your brain, going to your brain. And if these arteries get clogged or they get full of cholesterol and plaque, as we call it, you can end up with a heart attack or a stroke. Let me just tell you that 50% of all Americans, diabetic or not, will pass away from heart disease. But if you focus in on the folks with type 2 diabetes, it's about 80%. So the good news is we can control the risk factors for macrovascular disease. ABCs, aspirin, particularly if you're over 50, talk to your doctor first, blood pressure control, and cholesterol control. And this is important because if you think about it, if your blood doesn't uh, clot correctly, and that's what aspirin's for. If you have high blood pressure, if you have high cholesterol, there are no symptoms. That's why you have to get them checked and ask your caregiver. And it's very easy to control those issues. Now, microvascular complications. These are very specific for people with diabetes because high blood sugars will lead to damage to these very small arteries that feed blood to our eyes, the retina of our eyes, our kidneys, and our nerves. And so when you have very poor control over the years, you are at risk for diabetic retinopathy, diabetic nephropathy, that's kidney disease, and diabetic neuropathy. And that we call those the neuropathies and the triopathies. So this is important that you talk to your caregiver of getting the best medications that help you control all of the issues. You can't just ignore one type of vascular disease without the other. And it's drugs for your diabetes, it's drugs for your blood pressure, it's drugs for your cholesterol, new devices that help us measure our blood sugar and our cholesterol and, and blood pressure as well at home. So remember, check the article out by Jim McCallum and live a long and healthy life with diabetes, type one, type two, whoever. See ya.